imagine a plane consisting of n particles of mass m1, m2, m3, etc. From some arbitrary point a, direct distances can be drawn, r1, r2, r3, etc. The moment of inertia about a is written as i subscript a and is defined to be the sum of ri squared mi. This definition seems confusing and arbitrary, but it'll turn out that the moment of inertia determines how a rigid body rotates. But this is for a set of discrete masses. For a continuous body, like a metal plate, the moment of inertia about a can be proven to become ia is equal to the integral of r squared dm. Notice that the moment of inertia will change depending on the shape of the object and the point which it's evaluated about. For example, the moment of inertia of a uniform circular disk taken about its center of mass g is given by ig is equal to a half mr squared. The moment of inertia of a uniform thin rod taken about its endpoint o is given by io is equal to one third ml squared. And the moment of inertia of the same rod taken about its center of mass g is ig is equal to one on 12 ml squared.